My name is Dr. Sherry Borman. I am the Vice President and Clinical CLIA Laboratory Director here at Castle Biosciences. We have four laboratories. Um, they are based in Phoenix and in Pittsburgh. And Castle Biosciences develops and provides testing for patients and physicians that have cancer or mental health conditions. I get excited every day to come to work to know that I'm making a difference today. I really enjoy working with people, so we have an amazing team that work in the laboratories here at Castle Biosciences, but at the end of the day, giving a piece of information to a very scared patient and knowing that that patient is going to work with their physician for a treatment plan is what excites me and sends me to work every day. As a clinical laboratory director, I am responsible for making sure that everything that goes into getting the patient their results is done in an accurate and timely manner and it is completed by qualified people in the appropriate space with the appropriate equipment following all of the state and federal regulations. There is a set of tasks that have to be done on a daily basis to just keep our laboratory running and so everybody in each department and um, all of their different tasks have to work together so that again at the end of the day we are getting test results out to patients. It takes a lot to run a laboratory and the interdepartment collaboration is really important. So I would say if, if students like to ask why and they like to investigate things, then a, consider a career in science because there are more things than just standing at a laboratory, holding a pipette and working with samples. There is a wide variety of opportunities within a laboratory. You just have to be curious, ask questions, like to work with your hands and like to work with people. We have all educational levels that work here in the laboratory. So whether you have your high school degree or you have your PhD or anywhere in the middle, there's a space for you in a clinical laboratory. It just depends on what aspect you want to work on. The advice that I would give to students would be find something you're interested in and work towards it. And don't follow a dream, chase a dream. And always Keep what you think your current goal is in mind. Do not give up what you want most for what you want today. That's how you look at it, one class at a time. Don't be daunted or overwhelmed because it's going to take four years to get a degree, two years to get a degree, or whatever trade school program that you're interested in going into. It's one class at a time, one application at a time, and you will reach your goal. And then when you reach it, you reevaluate it. Is that where I want to be or do I want to keep going? Internships are um, an avenue to, to get some experience into a laboratory. Different companies offer different opportunities. There's a lot of rules and laws that must be followed to work in a clinical laboratory. So if you get some exposure through volunteering or being an intern and you come in with a base set of knowledge of just how to be safe, not hurt yourself, not hurt the patient samples, that type of experience can get your foot in the doors. Being an intern was how I got into science. I went from being the high school photographer to photographing brains in uh, following autopsies. And from there, the bug of excitement of science just took off because of my teachers. So things that start as hobbies can lead you into a career that you never saw coming.